Well, conditions across the UP today weren't too bad for us. We did have a few spotty showers as you go right along the Lake Michigan shorelines, but those are starting to push over Lake Michigan and farther to the north and west. There is another wave of rain that is making its way south and eastward. Now that will impact us right along the Lake Superior shorelines and could provide maybe some light rain showers, but this won't last that much longer as we head into the rest of the night. Once the sun sets, we will lose that instability that we have to produce these showers and sky should become partly then mostly clear throughout the rest of our night and we should also start to see conditions cool off just a bit more for us expecting more of the mid to upper 50s but right now we are at 75 degrees winds still up there between 20 miles per hour and they're coming in from the west northwest but as we go into our temperature map right here, you'll notice that we are in the upper 70s in Marquette and farther off to the west. Similar conditions, especially as you go south and westward here into Iron Mountain at 78 degrees. 70 degrees in Launce, upper 60s in Houghton, 70 degrees in Ontonagon while at 72 in Ironwood. Eastward, lower 70s in Munising and in Manistique, 72 in Escanaba and in the upper 70s in Ishpeming. Current winds, they are breezy all across the region, so not only for us here in Mar Marquette 21 right now in Houghton, 15 miles per hour in Iron Mountain while at 17 in Munising and Ironwood is at 14 miles per hour. But these winds should die off as we head into the evening, expecting them right around 5 to 10 miles per hour. So nowhere near as what they are right now and temperatures across the entire state. Upper 70s in Iron Mountain, 75 in Ironwood at 79 as you go into Escanaba and 80s into Lower Michigan. 80 degrees in Houghton Lake at 84 right now in Oscoda and Detroit is sitting at a temperature of 87 degrees. But we do have a lot of dry air in place, so even though conditions are warm, they're not really oppressive because that low humidity makes things feel nice outside. Here's a look at our headlines inactive as we go throughout the night as a lot of that shower activity will die off for us as we head into our Saturday. We'll see pleasant conditions. Some clouds around the region, but really seeing a decent amount of sunshine into our Saturday afternoon. But then clouds will be on the increase and also rain chances will look to return as we get into Sunday. Now Sunday night, maybe not expecting a lot of rain or if any rain at all. It looks like just as what we are seeing today, that activity will die off with the sun setting. But then picking right back up yet again as we head into Monday. And that look probably looks to be the best chance of rain that we will see over the next few days. Here's a look at your setup right now. Very warm air mass as you go farther to the south, but we do have the jet stream that is moving southward, so that is going to keep that air to our south, and we're not going to see any of the oppressive heat like we saw earlier this week. And here's a look at tomorrow. You'll notice the jet stream still sacking its way southward, and that is going to allow that cool air to come down from Canada. And looking at your future cast model throughout the night, notice how all that shower activity does die off for us and also will become mostly clear as we go into Sunday, Saturday, expecting to see a decent amount of sunshine as well. But then here comes Sunday, and look at these two features right here. At least this is one feature that is broken into two pieces of rain. Now, you'll notice to the north, some heavy rainfall over Superior to the south, seeing more of that heavy rain fall down into Wisconsin. For us in the UP, we're kind of in between the two and it does depend on where exactly these come together or if they do come together to see if we do see any rain. So chances still on the lower side as we go into Sunday. Sunday night will start to quiet down again before our next chance of rain comes back in as we go into Monday. So for tonight, 54 degrees. Those isolated showers that we're having in the region, those will come to an end. Winds out of the west northwest between 5 to 10 miles per hour, but picking up once again as we go into Saturday between 10 to 20. A mix of sun and clouds throughout the day for us. Highs in the mid to upper 70s at 75 in Launce, 76 degrees at Austin and 78 in Iron Mountain, 79 in Escanaba while at 73 in Munising. And here in Marquette, we will be at 75 degrees. We'll also see that temperature as we head into Sunday with a chance of showers. But as we go into Monday, clouds will be on the increase for us. Temperatures on the decrease. Highs only in the upper 60s, middle 60s as we head into Tuesday, upper 60s on Wednesday at 67 degrees. But after that, we do look to start to warm things back up, but not going to see the high heat that we saw earlier this week, only into the low to mid 70s. So right on round average for this time of the year, lows will be in the low to mid 50s and on Friday, maybe even the upper 40s.